Hello, everyone. Howdy. You're being visited. You're being haunted. I look like a by ghost, a ghost today. I look like a ghost. I don't know what the dealio is. I've wiped the camera down like ten times, and Ryan seems to be just a beige blob on this side. I don't know. Maybe in editing, it's gonna look totally different. But when we're filming here, I'm like super saturated, and you can see like all the colors, all the shapes, all the figures. All and the... I and then... look a little misty. <laughs> and then Ryan looks like he's a ghost who's like half here. So I guess- Semi-transparent, semi-translucent. Is... You're receiving a message from me, a, a schlockic, and my little ghost friend that apparently is sitting next to me. I think it's a manifestation of how I feel. If you can't tell- Beige? I'm ill. I have laryngitis, which is amazing because I was like deathly ill two weeks ago. It's great. Thank goodness your voice has come back oh my God. somewhat by the time we were filming this or else I probably would have had to be alone. Thursday, when... I literally had no voice. Ryan, like, at all. Ryan called me and I thought I was talking to like a Muppet. Like it was like, <laughs> it was so bad. Like the I literally, I kids. left school like halfway through the day. I was like, I can't teach. I can't do my job because I can't speak. I don't and know. I took Friday off and I just didn't say anything. And now I feel a little bit better. If a teacher had like laryngitis for like a week, I don't know how that works because like, how can, how can one teach? One of my teacher friends when gave one does me not have a voice. the pointer of like having a Google Doc. So we use like new line boards and it's basically like a fancy computer screen thing. And you can put a Google doc on the board and have the Google doc connected to your computer and just type. Hmm. And so just type what you need them to say. Close captions, your presentation. Kind of. And we might do that for Monday, depending on the level of voice. Well, happy Saturday. Welcome to What's Old Saturday, everybody. I hope you had a good week. This is the week yeah. of the 16th through the 22nd. I feel like I had a pretty good sales week. Actually, no. I. What am I saying? I had quite a good sales I week. I had a good week. Yeah. And I made one very important sale that I will talk about at length. Otherwise, the week... Me. Average, so yep. so, whatever. The weather has not been that good this week, as in it's been like cold. It's we got, we even got awful. snow once, and we're getting snow this next weekend. I don't know if we will though. I hope it just turns into rain. Oh, I hope so. So personally, the week was meh, and sales wise, the week was two thumbs up. I mean, hey, you know what? Six to one, half a dozen of another. Six to one, half a dozen of the other. <laughs> Two in the bush is good as one in the hand, or whatever that old one is. What does Debbie always kill, say? Kill a bird with two stones. Yeah, stones. Debbie has this gene where, like, cliches just don't <laughs> compute with her. She doesn't even say it to be funny. She just can't comprehend them. So Which she always so says, wrong. kill a bird with two stones. And I'm like, Debbie, so you're going to make a process of doing one task harder? Much harder. Yes. Sure. Terrible. Okay, so this is the week of the 16th to 22nd, like I said. I do have a little bit of Mercari, I got a little bit of eBay, and then the rest, of course, is Poshmark. I had a pretty healthy week on Depop. I had a fantastic week on eBay. Good. <laughs> Good. I had a couple on eBay. eBay slowed just a smidge for me, but that's totally okay. But of course, before we talk about our own sales and our own items that we are selling slash sold, yeah. we have someone else's to talk about. And yes, that is do. the Valentine VIP of the week. And this week's Valentine VIP is Jennifer. Her, Jennifer. Or Jen, if you want to call her Jen. Oh, God. And Jen's username is really clever. It is Generation Style. So she put a oh, pun on her own name. I love her. I love when someone makes their own name into a pun. I love when it works that well. Yes. Because, like, what would mine be? Mine would be like Jack Hammer Thrifted. Like, I literally, I can't think of Jack in the Box. Closed in the box. Jack out of the know. box thrift. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun one. Kind of. Sure. Not, as good, not as good as Generation. She needs a little <laughs> work. No, I'll give her that one. So Jennifer has, as per usual, all of our Valentines have such a good taste. Jennifer has all yes, kinds of good stuff. She's got some really good J Crew, in including some cute dresses. She's got some blazes, mm, some which we all know I love to sell yes. as well. She has some really cute anthro. She got some pants. She got some tops, but she also has some farm real anthro, which is like my favorite. She's got really really good free people as in like she doesn't just have clothes she has a bunch of bags she has a bunch Ooh. of shoes and she had these really cute like the knit effective. hats with like palm trees and burned it all over them oh, i was like so much fun. girl where's where's your dealer how do i get those That's what I'm <laughs> how do i get that one and then as i say sometimes she has like the good urban outfitters she had these like cowboy jeans yes. that has these like flowers all over them because as i always say like there's the good urban and then there's, and then the there's like the urban that's yeah. bread and butter yeah but mm -hmm. she's got the good urban so good job good job jennifer good job so please jennifer. go check out jennifer's closet you've been seeing it here it's the first link below and you can head over there and you can give her some love Love.
Because I'm going to be nice oh, to my true. laryngitis. True. Today, sorry, right? Jennifer, gonna, you had like, to get a whisper. Sorry, girly. <laughs> So thank you, Jennifer, for being a Valentine. Next thank week, you. if I feel better. Thank you, all of our Valentines, for being Valentines. Well, let's jump into the sales. First up, I guess we'll talk about Mercari. Do you have any Mercari? So I have two Mercari, and then Ryan can take over with his de pop de pop. So my first Mercari sale, as always, perpetuating that Mercari is always like two years behind every other platform. She's kind of. I sold this Lululemon form zip jacket in silver speckle. This sold for thirty bucks, but this is like an older print. I've actually had this print like two years ago, to sell. These pieces don't do as good on Bosch anymore. No. But on Mercari it sold, so that's great. Sure. Then I also sold a new Bolo brand, and that is called Ariane Elmi, and this is kind of like the style they always make. These like really puffed sleeves, like jacquard kind like of a dresses. Dress. That's like basically their signature style. Fun. This was the white good luck dress, and this sold for 195 which I think is pretty crazy. That's a good Mercari style. I thought that this would possibly sell on Posh, but hmm. sold on Mercari. I had it listed for, I think, like 275 but since it's a little more obscure, and it's since it's on Mercari, I was totally willing to take 195 oh, So immediately. I did, and I'll probably make still over... 150? Definitely still over 150, so that's great. Depop? I don't know what 10% is. I Hello, can't do, I Earth, can't do math. Earth to the ghost. Are you fading away to the other side? All I watch on the internet is like ghost shows. So you've become one. I have crossed over. Yeah, there was no event Teresa that caused you to Teresa pass Caputo, away. like, just halfway me through over the night, the you just... I just turned over one too many times and turned over oh, into the spirit world. I'll have to hire Teresa Caputo to get you back. Please bring her into this home. She'll just use her long nails and like lasso you back. And, like, she just sticks that nails back into the other side. And <laughs> just... Having to do this grab, <laughs> pulling you back. I love her. Anyway, my first on Depop. We had a very productive week on Depop. I started, and I don't know how committed I am to this, but it's this little, they run these like little programs all the time where they're like, do things to boost your shop and do your sales and whatever. And you get a little kickback and you get to be entered in some drawing if you list 40 things a month. And I was like, nice. well, hey, I'll do that because like, I'll just sell some stuff. Easy. So I think I'm seeing some fruits of that labor this week. First was this pair of Harley Davidson Y2K black low rise flare Dude. track pants. Sold for $24. My Harley stuff doesn't do as good as it used to, but it still sells really quickly. It just doesn't sell for as much. Mm, so the you value know? has went down. Yeah. But the She's popularity is still there. She's still there, which is like... I think I'm, the same goes for like Playboy stuff, especially because PacSun yeah. ruined that, unfortunately. But vintage Playboy stuff used to go for a ton. I think the vintage stuff still does. Mm, I think the PacSun stuff... I've had a pair of vintage jeans... Forever. She's watered it out. My next was this vintage Liz Claiborne collection of Ally Core. This was so beautiful. It was this really fully cute. beaded, pearlized vest. And I love selling vests. They do so good. This one I had listed for 50. She offered me 35 because it was like heavy. Like it was fully beaded. So this thing weighed like two pounds. That's wild. So I had shipping on it. And I think she was trying to accommodate for the shipping. Miss Liz. Work. Honestly, it worked. My next on Depop was a full price sale. This was an old exhilaration piece, which like I want to go back to the days where this would like be in Target. That's the that's like the part where I want to live. Old exhilaration is like a total like Y two K bolo, like definitely a it's lot of so good. There's a couple of those brands which I think we made a list once, but like there's certain brands where like they are just like peak. Yeah. Y2K style. Yes. And old I should, do, that. Is I should do like a cactus bolo for or not I a think cactus, like a Y2K bolo. I think for we them. did because we talked about cachet. Y2K pink paisley strapless halter asymmetrical hem dress sold full price for $34. Hopefully that's more than it retailed for in Target. That's always the goal. <laughs> yeah. Next, this was in the bins haul that I posted a couple weeks ago. Y2K cherry blossom sequin cap sleeve baby tee crop top sold for $20. Good little bread and butter sale. Next was this. I have so many more of these. If you want a pair, please buy them. I have like five. They were like $3 at a consignment store. And because I have no off switch, I bought every single one. <laughs> Y2K, not Y2K, vintage 1980s floral multicolored high-waisted denim jeans sold for $40. Then I sold this pair of Reebok Club C85 re-edition pink white leather sneakers. Anytime I find these, they do good. These had 85 likes wow, I mean, on Depop. Cute. They were really cute. They didn't have any insoles oh. and they were kind of beat up. So like, and, sold and they what? still sold for $30. Wow. If you find them. I think they're good bar shoes. They're good, like, bar shoes. Good Jack, college that's bar what Jack's shoes. cousin said. He has a pair, and he uses them as bar oh, shoes. And I'm like... College bar shoes. Works. Immediately. Yeah. Not like the bar that I go to, but I sit down. A brewery. <laughs> yeah. The bars. Let me clarify. The bars, bars. The bars. My next on Depop was <laughs> very indicative of this season. 
Catalina Vintage 80s Electric Blue Nylon Tie Sarong Swim Cover, sold for $15. That's cute. My next, another very important shoe brand to keep an eye out for, these were in the bins. These were some click clacking shoes, man. These were cool. Ryan just showed these on Tuesday. Yes, I did. David and Saul Vintage White Leather Wooden Platform Ankle Wrap Heels. I listed these really high. Some of these ones can go for like a lot, lot, lot of money. If you find the right pair, they can go for like upwards of two, $300. This one, it was a little bit more tame compared to some of the other ones. I listed them at 95 and she offered me 57. I just took it. That was fast. Like, I I'll mean, take $60 so yeah. immediately. She paid shipping, like, off we go. You yeah. know, very easy. And that's it for Depop. Then on eBay, I had four. One, two, three, four, five. For some reason, Zara did pretty good on eBay this week. So my first up is Zara Pink Tiered Cotton Long Dress. This sold for 23 The buyer paid shipping, oh, and it cute. did... Oh, no, it didn't sell to promotion. I just had positive feedback to go read. <laughs> so I've actually had this for a while. Really cute. I found it in the middle of, like, Barbiecore. So, yeah. of course, I was going to sell it myself. Is Barbiecore over? I believe so. I think so. I if Margaret so. Robbie's not wearing pink to anything anymore, yeah, I, I think know. it's over. Then, yes, probably. You can think about it. I mean, there's still pink lovers. Poor like, Lily. Yeah. Then I sold this Zara check plaid long blazer coat. This did sell through promotion, and it sold for $48, which is wild. I think that was my full asking price. I was consigning at Turnstile, including this jacket when it sold so they had taken all my stuff they would accepted it all whatever they'd hung all the fall stuff back in the back including this and then i'm leaving and i like look at my phone and i'm like oh shoot so hey, luckily they're that, very nice corner, shout please, out to the turnstile they're icons. girly pops they're i love icons. them so sweet. they were really nice and it was no big deal and they gave it back so i got it back and i wouldn't have bothered them for it if it was like 20 or something but i was like this sold for 50 dollars it has to be worth it and also you do get dinged on ebay for canceling yes. so it's like yeah that's yeah. the stupidest thing ever i know i mean i get it but like at the same time chill so then i saw this the great storyteller floral midi tiered cotton dress the great great brand one of my favorites to sell for yeah. sure it sold for 200 dollars, and the buyer paid shipping and that did also go through promotion then last up is a totally new bolo brand this pair of sunglasses did so good probably the best of any sunglasses that i have found in any of my eyewear finds mm -hmm. like treasure troves they are called smith is the brand and smith is a biking brand like a cycling brand of sunglasses that's like exclusively i think what they make these yeah. are the ruckus bike riding reflective sunglasses they sold for 70 buyer paid shipping they sold on ebay within like 10 hours of me cross posting them and that's on posh they were getting likes all the time already. Could you know? These are like $300 sunglasses. So I listed them at 100. There were like two tiny specks of black that like, I don't know if the reflective oh. had worn away, but super, mm -hmm. super tiny. I don't even think they'd be in your like vision. Well, when they cover half your face. Yeah. I think you're fine. And I mean, yeah, if <laughs> if you're using these outside to like go biking and stuff, you're running into bugs and everything and like tree branches, like they're going to get scratched Not anyways. The bugs. The bugs. So to, the bugs. to spend like less then less than half is probably a steal of a deal. Pick up Smith if you see them. I would totally, if like, if I saw them for 20 bucks at a consignment store, I'd pay it. These did so good. Immediately. So. Immediately. My first on eBay was this Faraday, not Fahardy. Good job. I think it's the first time you've said it right. Oh, you're I've learned it, but you've been a little slower. To just to make the internet mad, I'm just going to keep calling it Fahardy. No, I'm just kidding. Fahardy Jackson V-neck notched long sleeve little sweater thing. My mother did send me a text and she goes... No, what's that? It was like, Janet. Janet, close your eyes. I send you enough things. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> We've, we've made you a wardrobe. Be quiet. I've made you three wardrobes. <laughs> this sold for $40, buyer paid shipping. I don't, via promoted listing. Cool. Love her. Next was a full price sale of a Madewell Flutter Sleeve Floral Mini Dress. Sold for $38 via promoted listing. I turned into a little bit of a snake when I can't talk. That's okay. I'll save my really good one for the last. Next was this Ariana Grande, which I think was in... Shoot the haul that I just posted as well. If it wasn't, I think it was meant to be, but it didn't. It probably it was, was in the one. It was probably in the laundry. <laughs> this was in that same menstrual. Sold for $40, and I will make something. Promoted um, listing. On Wednesday, I saw another one of those. I was going to get it for you, and I didn't. <laughs> Because when I look them up, people list them. At people list them at like $150. They list them at like 200 bucks, and then or, if you turn on the like sold, 20. it's like 12 I picked it up, and I was like, hey, somebody's going to buy it. Oops. Somebody did buy uh, it. I should have. It was the exact same one. Hmm. Wah, wah. 
interesting. My next was this really cute Ann Taylor olive green long sleeve lace peplum jacket. So for a $24, I will make something. I wish- thread up? No, that was from- Oh, I thought that, really? Mm -hmm. I swore that was a thread up box. It might've been. Either way, Probably it was not. one that you somehow hauled because I remember you holding it up. Yeah, and this is the big end. This I sold for a very dear family friend of mine, so I'm not keeping any of the money, Yeah, but- a very good sale to be that I can brag about. Christian Dior Galliano 2004 Pink Diorissimo Boston Girly Bag. Barbie this Barbie. was purchased in the year 2004. She bought it at the Bellagio and she gave me the set. She had the bag, the wallet, the shoes, the belt, the t-shirt, and was just like here. I think a few of the other pieces have showed up in What's on Saturday. The, the shoes, shoes are sold, the belt, belt is sold, the wallet is sold. The only thing that I was holding out for was this bag because I was the only one on the internet that was like under $3,000. Mm. It had a little bit of a stain on it, not that big of a deal. Sold to somebody across the pond for $800 plus shipping and everything. All in, this girl paid like $1,000 for this bag. I mean- With like taxes and shipping and everything. I was like, whoa. To get like the OG receipt and stuff. I didn't have the receipt. I had the original card and I had all the original packaging. I had the original dust Maybe bag. Maybe the receipt was for some other. You had a receipt for one of the things. I was like, oh my gosh, it's insane. Yeah. $800. So she'll like wild. walk away with like 600 bucks. Wild. Which is great. And that's it for eBay. Alrighty tidy, let's move on to Poshmark. So the first day is the six. 16th, and I have... How many did you have? One. Seven. Whoa. You sound like a thunderstorm again. I know, I'm hungry. I can just hear bubbles, like, moving all the way up. And it... It's around lunchtime. Maybe it's your soul returning to your undead body. Oh, can you imagine I all of a sudden just... It's like that you just scene... just pop of color. There's like this, like, dust It's like that, that scene at you. the end of the original Hocus Pocus where Bette Midler's like... <laughs> Sucking the life out of him, and then they throw him down, and he gets his color like, back. Color just like that's what, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. So, my first day on the 16th went to Lori, and I Lori. don't know for certain if Lori's a viewer, but I know that this person has bought for me a number of times, and they do always seem to buy right after oh, I haul stuff. She absolutely so is. So, she has to be. Little Miss Lori. She's never I've like seen said her. anything I don't believe, but exactly. hi, Lori. So, Lori purchased this Adidas original soft plush kimono robe. This was one of the weirdest Adidas I've ever seen. It was literally Barefoot Dreams. This was nice. Like this? To a T. I was getting real close to just... If this had a Barefoot Dreams X Adidas tag in it, I would have been like, yeah, probably. That's a collab. This, that'd be fun. Yeah. That's a collab. So for 32, I get 25, 60. Those did sell for quite a lot because they're pretty unique. No. Then I saw this J. Crew Liberty London Thorpe floral printed sleeveless tank Thorpe. top. This one sold for a bit less. It sold for 25, I get 20. This exact tank top is pretty common, so it mm. already does a little bit worse, but it also was a double zero. She was tiny. I can't even believe, she honestly, that I was able to sell it, so I will take 25, no questions sure. asked. Then I sold this mod cloth Emily and Finn Too Much Plaid <laughs> midi dress, sold for 28, I get 22, 40. That'd be a great fall dress, but this girl said, mm -hmm. it would be she said that's right. Then I sold this Anthropology Daniel Rain Peacock printed blouse, so adorable. I don't think Anthro carries him very often. Mm -mm. I honestly didn't even know they did it at all until I found this because it was new with tags. So for 28, I get 2240. Then I sold the H&M Jungle Tropical Printed Kimono. Like I said to you guys, I just like had it in my cart and was like thinking about it and thinking about it. And then I was like, I want to leave right now. And so I like ran out without like looking through my stuff. So I had it, I listed it and this actually did really good. So <laughs> Glad that I accidentally grabbed it. Sold for 25, I get 17.02, but that had like eight likes already, which is wild. Then this was a good sale. I sold this Isabel Morant Lousty Chevron Western Zip Jacket. You guys might remember this from the day in the life. This was like the first thing I pulled because I just happened to run into it. This sold for $225 and I get 180, which I think is great. I think I maybe had it listed at like 345. She was a but, cute jacket. Yeah. She was a good jacket. Yeah, you at one point wanted I did, something very I mean, similar. They had like a, it was a like denim? a denim printed version of that. And they had it at Nordstrom in the clearance section, which is always out of my budget. Yeah. And I tried it on and I was like this close to just running away with it. Yeah. They had a good deal on it. Then another really good like mid kind of tier designer sale. This is I kind saw of a little, this mage rare crochet fringe detail knit open jacket. This thing. This was, so this was the cutest mage piece I've ever seen in my entire really life. Cute. Sold for 250 and I get 200. I will forever and for always love like granny crochet pieces, yes. even if it became so out of style. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. It, it won't. I will single handedly. Keep it, it won't because like everybody loves it, but like it's just so it's cute. It's so good. It's so, it's especially so like cute. clothing pieces made from it. Oh, 
My one and only on the 16th, Brandy Melville blue plaid high-waisted pants. These are those like weird, you want to wear pajama pants, but like don't want to wear pajama pants pants. And Just put on regular pants, it's not that hard. <laughs> Sold for $15, I will make 12. On the 17th, I had two. I had four. My first sale was this Smart Wool Chevron Decano mock neck sweater. Sold for 50, I get 40. Makes sense that it's sold because it's suddenly cold again. I love a Woo smart move. Yeah, me too. Then Hannah popped into my closet and Hannah said she's actually purchased a black bag from Debbie before. So thank you from Debbie to Hannah. But Hannah also purchased a black bag from me and it was this Mark by Mark Jacobs leather crossbody. Oh, this was cute. Sold for 22 and that's because, I don't even know if I said it in the haul. I maybe noticed during the haul, but the strap was like, cut and then like retied. So I think, I don't know if it's because it wasn't adjustable that then people just think, oh, I'll cut it. For what? Why? I don't know. I mean, but it, it was literally like almost unnoticeable because I didn't notice it until I was hauling. So I will get 1760 from that. It was still really cute. I could tell it was like it was a cute. newer Mark by Mark piece mm -hmm. and it was really nice leather. So Hannah, I hope that you love that. Yeah. And thank you. My first on the 17th was a pair of Sam Edelman <laughs> blue satin fringe pumps sold for $21. I will make 1382. My next was this Oshkosh Bagash blue denim vintage 90s. A little overall, this was really cute. Sold for $15, I make 12. That was not one of those rare ones, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Next, decent sale. Ula Johnson Virgil Blue Boutique Bow Detail Skirt. Sold for $100, and I will make 80. My last on the 17th is a good old staple. New Yorker Black Graphic Top Handle Tote Bag. Sold for $20, I make thirteen oh two minus the shipping discount. Pedal them tote bags. You know what? And dang right I do. And they go Summer's fast. coming up. I'm thinking of the Laura Ramoso video, the like Instagram girly, where she's like, it's summer, I have to get my tote bag and my hair clip. I was gonna say, that's the thing, right? Like these girlies that's like it. bring them to libraries with like loaves of bread. And, and they put stuff. their like matcha in them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they're doing. They bring like a textbook, a French we'll put, baguette, like, and like... One <laughs> sprig of lavender and like a baguette and like their really overpriced headphones. <laughs> and like they'll dump their matcha in it and just like trot around. Anyways, on the 18th, I had three. I had one. Another new bolo, and that is the brand Beachwood Baby. So this was the Beachwood Baby gauze slubbed cotton tan jumpsuit. This sold for $68, which was my full asking price, and it sold fast. It hadn't even gotten a like. The person that bought it did not even like it yet. They just were like, this is a really confusing brand though. I would have to do like a deep dive. It's like a maternity brand, but it's not exclusively. I think they make them big enough that you can wear you them can be pregnant before and after. So like... Oh, but it's like one of those like grow with you kind of a things. Yeah, because like half the model pictures yeah, yeah, are just yeah. non-pregnant or maybe post like maternity people and mm -hmm. then half of them are pregnant people. So this, like I said, sold for 68 and I get 54.40 and I got five stars already. Sold fast, sold great, love that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then Melanie popped into my closet and it's Melanie, cool. I guess, is becoming a lag look queen. Because <laughs> Melanie bought La Fixin, La Fixin is the brand. These were 2022 ruched hem linen wide leg pants. They sold for $36 and I get 25.82. So Melanie is ready for spring. Yes, she with is. With her nice linen Good pants. For Melanie. Then's the doozy. This is the doozy. This, is, this the is the big one. This, this is, is the, the wild one. Yeah. I had this pair of Chanel 2021 logo leather track trainer sneakers. Sneaker. Of course, I paid up for these. These were not a bins fund before anybody no asked. I pulled them straight out of the bottom of a bin. I paid, paid up for sure. And I had these listed at $17.50, which of course sounds crazy, but just keep in mind it's Chanel. Everything is of course. only getting more expensive with them. Yes. I based that off of some listing prices I'd seen and stuff like that. And like this color wasn't as common. Also black and white with Chanel is so classic mm -hmm. that it's like the staple with Chanel. Yeah. This person offered me 800. Still had it listed for seventeen fifty. I know I've sent like even forty percent off before, mm -hmm. so that's fine. I made my decision based off of looking them up on the real real. Because if I decide I want to send them there, that's mm -hmm. what I'll be going off of. And it seemed like though they'd list them higher, they would all kind of end up selling around like seven fifty to nine hundred. Yeah. I get a bigger percentage on Posh, so I was like, you know what? I've had these for like Ooh. maybe two years. We'll sure. take the 800. I get 640. That is wild. I definitely didn't pay 640 for them. I still definitely made a good chunk of change, mm -hmm. though I paid up. But that that's is a pretty one. good one. That that's was a pretty, pretty good sale. That was a pretty that's good That's a pay. pretty respectable sale. Mine, way down. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. Take yeah. them expectations and... I sold a bundle of this Harley Davidson black ribbed pinup girl little tank top and this Y2K green zebra striped stretch open tank top sold for $35 and I will make 20 Well, on the 19th, I had two. I had two as well. My first set was this J. Crew 2021 cashmere crew neck pullover sweater. Sold for 30 I think earlier, maybe in this in the like winter and fall season, you can get more, but we are starting to move out of there. And so I get 24 but it was a bins find and cashmere weighs nothing. Love this. Ryan and I actually each have one of these. Oh, I love it. I so it was this Prada Rare Logo Plaque Blue Tissue Holder. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, that's it. Boop. So you take those little like, not single use, I mean like- Those little clean Those little packs. travel packs of tissues. You take the tissues out of the plastic bag and you put them there. I love her. Most useless, but most useful- I have a brown one. Ever. And I- Mine's black. I'm addicted to it. I yeah. love her so much. This, and it did really, really good too. This sold super fast. It sold for 157 and I get 122.62. Perfect. That's freaking great. I mean, they retail for like 250. <laughs> so crazy. Crazy. Wow. Oh, there's always one yawn. First on the 19th was this pair of Ultracore, which used to be kind of a big ball low. I think they've absolutely fallen off. They're good bread and butter. Yeah, Black knockout star print high waisted leggings sold for thirty seven dollars. I will make twenty nine sixty. And then Miss Brenda popped into my closet and bought the really adorable A plus Lena Brown little like turtleneck sweater from the haul a couple weeks ago. So cute. She got it for thirty five dollars, and I will make twenty. What even is? A good athletic brand anymore. Like, what is a what's an athletic an athletic bolo? I can't even like um, like girlfriend collectives pretty good still. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. That's like, kind of it. Hasn't Buff Bunny gotten worse? Ultra Core's gotten worse. There's that like Carbon twenty eight thirty eight whatever. That's not that good. I have no idea. Zaya's Nike. not the best. Athleta, I don't even have luck with anymore. I have no idea. On the twentieth, I had three. I had two. If somehow we were just in a conversation that cut off, it's oh because gosh. we have marketplace people picking things up and it's getting really confusing. So we had to shut the camera either. off. I don't, I, I have no clue where we just left off on that last clip. But Oof. anyways, first on the 20th, Sam Edelman Horse Bit Fall Textured Linen Loafers. These sold for 35, I get 28. Then I sold these Madewell Emmett Yoke Denim Shorts. These sold for 26, I get 20.80. Those are really cute. Mm -hmm. And last up, I sold this Free People Color Block Wide Sleeve V-neck top for 25 i get 20. i did want to get more for that because i thought it was mm -hmm. like a pretty cute free people yeah but it wasn't doing as good as i hoped and like fine just sure making money someone can be wearing it versus it sitting in a bag in my yeah it's night. very true my first on the 20th went to the miss alina she got a really adorable bundle of this vintage 90s brown tassel suede vest which is vintage express another good one if you ever find the vintage leather pieces the express stuff is really good and she got the urban outfitters blue striped long sleeve little terry cloth top both from the hall as well she got them both for 40 dollars, and i will make 32 and then miss bethany wow. came in and bought herself an a couple one. things an adorable bundle. <laughs> it's a six item bundle first one was and a, most of this was from the haul that i posted tuesday big new bolo tasha palazzi tasha palozzi po lizzie like apparently Something i can't like read my that. own title print uh long sleeve tunic she is a very expensive western designer she makes men's and women's stuff i thought this was a men's dress shirt come to find out it was a women's tunic because hmm. it has pockets it was really cute she got the ever eve cream fallon short sleeve flutter sleeve sweatshirt it's really adorable vintage 1980s vibrant floral multicolor maxi dress it was really cute catalina vintage 80s vibrant yellow swimsuit the adorable snake skin agate belt that Good. 80s belt. And then this really cute vintage 70s brown flower power two-piece. I loved this two-piece. It was so cute. Bundle sold for $255, and I will make $204. So thank you, Miss Bethany. On the 21st, I had two. I had two as well. My first sale was another J. Crew Liberty. This was the J. Crew Liberty London Eden Ham floral printed bikini set. Sold for cute. 35, I get 28. It was really cute. And if I'm sure you guys don't take this much mental note, but if you remember, I found this in a shopping at Turnstile thing probably like a year ago. Mm -hmm. I still hate swim. I love Swim. Because this was really cute and it was new tags. It still took at least a year to sell. I love so. Swim. Then I also sold a bundle of American Eagle shorts. American Eagle Some size four denim cut off jean shorts and some size four distressed destroyed jean shorts. Together they sold for 22 and I get 17.60. Perfect. Bread and butter. Yeah. My first on the 21st is my bread and butter. Free People One Dusty Rose Adela Bralette. Sold for $22. I'll make 14.62 after the shipping discount. And then Miss Jolene popped in and bought herself Jolene. a beautiful skirt. 
were the mud cloth golden yellow velvet circle skirt. This was so, so cute. It was. I love a good golden yellow And good velvet. for literally every season. Yes. She got it for $34 and I will make $24.22. So thank you, Jolie. And on the last day of What Sold City Day, on the 22nd, I had three. I didn't have any. My first sale was this J. Crew Regent wool button blazer jacket sold for 50. I get 40, that was my full That's listing cute. price. So that kind of surprised me. Then for my own personal collection. Oh, I loved this. I sold this oh. Marine Serre Give Blood logo graphic t-shirt. I would have taken this. This sold for 123, I get 98.40. I had just recently got this and I maybe even wore it in a video. I hate this color on me. Any color from cream to like slightly darker tan, I just hate. I adore it. I just I love it. Because it does this. It makes me look like a ghost. It like fades Ooh. me out. I just don't. I just can't. I've tried so many times and I can't. And last for the week. I sold this Free People One Leopard Print Y2K Eyelash Knit cardigan sweater situation. Cool. Sold for 28. I get 20, 38, and I just had found that. So my gross for this week was 2120. My gross was 629, which is pretty good. And my news was 1696. 50320, which is good considering I think the only thing that I paid up for this week was that Ula Johnson. And just as a reminder, that's because our friend at the bin Sue asked, no, the net does not count taxes. It does no. not count cost of Good, so take the net with kind of a that is off. just what it is, just the selling fee. Just yes. yeah, it's the net on posh, is what it is. All right, so that's all we have for you guys today. But I hope you guys also had a really good selling week. Let us know what platforms did best for you, which ones were kind of slow this week, yeah. how was the sales week, and how was your week personally. I'd love to read that as well. And we will see you when we see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.